I'm Dominic Stevens. This week a few things have come together that show the economy really is evolving along the lines we were talking about at the start of this year. First, the Reserve Bank's monetary policy statement, which was very much in line with the expectations I laid out in last week's video. The Reserve Bank's main messages were all repeated. The official cash rate is on hold and is expected to rise down the track. There was no encouragement given at all to markets' expectations that there could be a reduction in the OCR. Consequently, wholesale interest rates rose on the day. Now, the Reserve Bank is expressing a little bit of wariness about the housing market. They haven't changed their core view, but they have said, look, if house prices continue to rise through 2013, and if that leads to an increase in household debt, we'll have to move and increase the OCR earlier or harder than, than we're currently forecasting. Now, I do think if you look back over 2012, the economy has evolved along the lines we talked about earlier this year. We're seeing an increase in domestic demand. Meanwhile, exporters are actually not doing as well as they were at the start of the year. A two-speed economy is evolving here. Just this week, we've had further confirmation that the Auckland housing market has gone from warm to hot. And over recent weeks, we've certainly seen that the rest of New Zealand's housing market has gone from tepid to warm. On the construction sector, that's been a big story of ours. Well, this week we saw that construction activity was up 9.6% according to the Building Work Put in Place survey, and that doesn't even include uh, repair activity associated with the Christchurch rebuild. This is really quite a rapid increase in construction activity. Look, I think what's going to happen from here is that house prices will continue rising through 2013 in response to low interest rates. Construction sector will continue to ramp up. That'll create more domestic demand and more inflation pressure, requiring the Reserve Bank to increase the OCR earlier than, um, than markets currently think. Of course, higher OCR will keep the upward pressure on the exchange rate, and that's going to hurt exporters. So again, two-speed economy ahead. Talk to you next week.